Google just recently dropped their Nano Banana Pro model, and people are already creating the most diabolical and interesting images with it. And today, I'm going to show the best examples of the wildest things that people are doing with this AI model. So let's dive in. One of the craziest use cases of the Nano Banana Pro AI model is that it can do X-ray diagnosis. So for example, if you provide an image of an X-ray of the human body, it can easily find out the disease if there is any from that specific X-ray. So this was the provided image and the AI model was able to point out the disease right here. And it also told us the name of the disease, which is primary lung neoplasm. And it also mentioned the stage in which the disease is in. So here the disease is in stage four. Now, this is a quite interesting use case of the Nano Banana Pro AI model, but we need to actually look into how accurate this diagnosis actually is. Now, anyway, another use case of the Nano Banana Pro AI model is the try-on system, where you give your picture to the AI model, and then you give all the clothes that you want to try on, and then the AI model is going to just output the picture of you trying on the clothes. Now, the previous Nano Banana AI model was able to do this to some extent, but the thing here with the new Nano Banana Pro AI model is that you can give it a lot more products at the same time with even makeup, like the eye makeup right here. And even then, it will still be able to generate a really coherent and consistent image with almost no distortion of the original image of the character that you would provide to the AI model. So as you can see, there are a lot of products here, but still the image output looks really good. And you can also use this AI model to translate old languages. So if you go and visit an ancient place or go and visit like a museum and see these kind of stone writings and you don't understand it, then you can just take a picture and upload it into Nano Banana Pro and ask it to translate the text into English. Then it will be able to really easily translate the text and then you will be able to read it. Now this only works for the ancient languages that scientists have already understood the meaning of. So if the language cannot be actually deciphered by scientists, then the AI model won't be able to do that. So it only works for already deciphered languages. And another thing about this output is that if you read through all this text, you will see that there is no distortion or grammatical mistake in this text, which is just great. And you can also use this AI model to create a fingerprint map of your finger. So if you just give it the image of your finger and give the AI model the prompt, create a fingerprint map of this finger, then it will be able to generate a fingerprint map like this. And it is a really cool thing if you like to create these types of things. Now, another thing here is that the Nano Banana AI model is pretty uncensored. So you can create the image of anyone or any celebrity. So there is almost no censorship in the Nano Banana AI model, especially when you use it using an API or a platform like Higgsfield AI. Now here, the prompt that was given to Nano Banana was Joe Rogan's podcast with Steve Jobs. And as you can see, this AI model was able to create the picture of these two celebrities really well. These two celebrities seem to be actually talking in a podcast, and there is no unnatural movement or unnatural facial expression here. And even the background text, as you can see, is actually really good, and there is no distortion or grammatical errors here. So the text, the Joe Rogan podcast experience, is actually correct. Another example of this feature of Nano Banana is this image where Nano Banana Pro was prompted to generate a photo of Elon Musk's current last location. And as you can see, Nano Banana generated the picture of Elon Musk in the White House, and this was in actuality the last known location of Elon Musk. So this picture was also really good. And you can also use Nano Banana Pro to create really good advertisements. So for example, if you give the AI model a prompt, like create a grid of four editorial fashion images focused on Nike, two macro, two dynamic action that follow the same style and color palette, make each of the new shots unique, and then you provide it with the original image that you generated with Mid Journey or something, then Nano Banana is going to create something like this. So this was the image that was provided to Nano Banana. And from that image, using that prompt, Nano Banana was able to generate these four images. And as you can see, these four images actually maintain the style consistency with the provided image. And here everything looks really good. And the character here also seems to be consistent with the provided image, which is also a fabulous feature here in Nano Banana. Now, another thing that you can do with Nano Banana is create realistic images of fictional characters in realistic settings. So, for example, if you give the AI model the prompt, a grounded photographic moment where Shrek sits awkwardly in a modern clinic waiting room, his skin showing detailed pores, small blemishes, and subtle green color variation, holding a clipboard with medical forms, 
his huge boots touching the floor tiles surrounded by other normal people pretending to stare at him, then you are going to get an image like this. And this image here actually follows the instruction of the prompt very well, and it was able to generate the clinic correctly. And the image of Shrek here is very realistic, as was asked in the prompt. And so this image was also really good. And you can also use this AI model to show the deconstruction of any product. For example, if you give the AI model an image of a car and then give the AI model the prompt, show me the deconstruction of what is inside this car by details, then Nano Banana Pro will automatically deconstruct this car and give you all the parts that were used to create this car. And then it is going to name all the car parts. I am just really amazed with the fact that even the small text here is actually readable and grammatically correct. But sometimes you will see some distortion in the small text. For example, this text right here is a little bit distorted. And you can also use Nano Banana Pro to create BTS scenes. For example, if you give it a prompt like, show me the backstage of this shot, and then give the actual photo of the shot, the AI model will be able to generate something like this, where you will get a BTS scene of this specific image. And this BTS scene also looks really good with all the camera crew and film directors. And another really cool thing with Nano Banana that you can do is create infographics. For example, you can turn anything into a technical drawing with Nano Banana Pro. So if you have this image and then you give the AI model a prompt, like create a technical drawing of this photo, make it visionary, Nano Banana Pro is going to create an image like this. And it creates a really good technical drawing from this image. It explains every part of the car here. Now, the text in this image is quite good, but if you try to look at the smaller text, you will see that those texts are pretty distorted. So the bigger texts in this image are actually correct, but the smaller texts are a bit distorted. Also, with Nano Banana, you can just give it a 2D image of anything and then ask the AI model to create a 3D model from the image, and it is going to generate something like this. And then you can just use this in an image to 3D AI model and create stunning 3D objects. And you can also restyle any image into any art style using Nano Banana. For example, if you give Nano Banana this image and then ask it to make this scene look like Lego, it is going to create something like this. And here, every character, even the character in the background, has been turned into Lego. Nano Banana also keeps the position of the background characters the same, which is really good. And our main focused characters here also have the same emotional facial expression as they have in the original image, which makes it a really good generation from Nano Banana Pro. And you can also use this AI model to create step-by-step -step recipe infographics. So, for example, if you give it a prompt, like create a step-by-step -step recipe infographic for Bongolese pasta, top-down view minimum style, and then describe the background of the image, it is going to give you an actual recipe that actually works for the specific recipe. So the AI model generated the Bongolese pasta recipe step-by-step. -step. It actually generates the pasta recipe really well. It basically first mentions all the ingredients that you need, and then it shows you how to use those ingredients to cook the dish. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in the next one.